So Diddy and Lizzo, apparently people are feeling like Diddy fat shamed Lizzo and mm -hmm. his, he had a little dance off on Easter mm -hmm. and Lizzo called in and I guess she started to twerk and mm -hmm. he told her to stop. Mm -hmm. So people feel like that he was fat shaming her because when other people called in, i.e. Drea from Basketball Wives, he allowed them to twerk. Mm. So when Lizzo came on, um, I guess she was twerking off a song and he stopped her and said, that's not a family friendly song. And mm. then, you know, he changed it to her song. And so she didn't twerk. She just kind of swayed or whatever. Um, so we're going to. Yes, we have the video. We're going to watch it right now. Hold on. Can you see that, Carl? Yeah. Hold on. Let me make it big. That's as big as I can make it, y'all. Hold on. Where can we see it? <laughs> hey, hey. Hey. Hey, what's up? Pret pretend nobody's in here. How you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. What's your sign? What's your sign? Gemini. All right, let's play a song. <laughs> Yeah, I know I got to uh, turn it down for the music. But yeah, you see, she was twerking at first. And then when they played her song, she just was like swaying to the beat. Hi. Well, hmm. But later on, Drea called in and he allowed her to twerk. So Lizzo says, Lizzo explained it later. Um, she was on, um, do you watch um, Tory Lane's radio, uh, Quarantine Radio? Who, me? Yeah. No. I watch it. I don't. Too. It's pretty good. Okay. Um, well, sometimes, because he does objectify women, but that's a whole nother story. Right. Um, Check it out. So, hold on. She was on his, his uh, Quarantine Radio. And she tried, she explained what happened. Baby girl. I got you, baby girl. I got you, baby girl. Let the people know. I want everybody to know one thing. All 308,000 people in here. Diddy did not stop Lizzo from twerking. He did not stop Lizzo, did not stop Lizzo from twerking. Oh, come here. Hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, Lizzo. We got to get to the bottom. Hey. You are in the building. You are somebody we've been waiting to get to the show. Oh, oh, oh my God. Wow. Okay, hold on. Hold on, Lizzo. All right. I gotta say, let me say it for the people. Diddy did not stop Lizzo from twerking last night. Did not. He just wanted her to say something about the medical people first. Now, I just want to say that first. Hey, Lizzo, go and ahead also, and finish the rest. The music was explicit. He didn't want... Songs about suck my dick, da 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 da, da being played around children. Li Lizzo, understand I'm that we sorry. understand that there was guidelines yesterday. <laughs> I don't want nobody ever, ever, ever 
saying that Lizzo was canceled from twerking because the way I want to see Lizzo twerk right now is on a different level. Let's go! Are you ready? You place that camera somewhere where we can see it. Get your everything. I'm looking at you. I've been looking at you since I seen you at the party. Oh my gosh. Perfect. And Lizzo, hold on, Lizzo. Lizzo, I've seen that you had the chocolate almond milk. Chocolate. What is up? Can you show us the chocolate? Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God. They do this to all the girls, Carl. What? Not only, not only are you staying healthy, healthy. but you keeping it true to the black they community. They pour milk all over themselves. The chocolate what? almond. What? Damn. I just want to. I'm mad you haven't seen it. Now, Lizzo. I want, I want to, I want to ask you. I want a special. Do you need? I need a special request of what song? But so, matter of fact, matter of fact, I got this song for you. I got this song for you. It just came off. I, I know you' about to go stupid, so I got this song for you. It just came off my brand new mixtape. You ready? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Yes, yes, I'm ready. And I just want to say, I'm not in the competition. I'm you, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to say one thing before this starts. No matter what, even though, know, even though. She does not need the 5,000. Lizzo is not going to participate in the money chart, but she already won the twerkathon. Hold on. To the other girls, we got you for the 5,000, but Lizzo, you are already the winner in my book. And I, we know you're not in the competition. You're in a different league. It's 300, baby girl. I also want to say, you ready? Oh, oh, let her say, let her, let her talk. To the BBWs watching your lives, wishing that they could get in and twerk, mm -hmm. do not mm -hmm. be afraid to get in here. Don't yes. read the comments. Yes. Get that ass. You know uh, what? Yes. And you ain't even paid for it, honey. Shake those ass things. Shake them. Shake them. Oh, yeah. Before you start, Lizzo. You know, now you know, like I'm, I'm a super fan, so you know I'm an all dirtbag time. But listen, okay. Can can we can we call you back and then you can throw some money and then we can. Uh 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 it's too crazy, uh, too sexy. I, I love BBW. I'm, I'm all for it. But before we go to the next one, we got to leave you a little. Uh, 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 what you got on? You ready? All right, I'm going to give you a look. Give us a little uh-uh. Call on the bed like you did. I need you to call on the bed the same way you did, baby girl. I just want to say I'd like to take this chance to apologize. Tap to me, nobody. Tap to me, nobody. Tap to me, nobody. Okay. Well, um, yeah, about yeah. that. Um, yeah, yeah, she's not yeah. ashamed. She's okay. not ashamed of her body. Not at all. Somebody said they're picking on okay. her. This is annoying. I'm so lost for words. I mean, she That's called annoying. in. Did nobody force her to twerk? No one has ever forced her to twerk. No one ever forced her to wear like buttless, uh, a buttless dress. 
Um, y'all keep saying they're all laughing at her. Um, but I mean, if she's confident enough to show off her body and she wants to do it, then I mean, that's her. I mean, but if there are some people who don't want to see it, then that is okay too. So I don't, I mean, I can't, you can't fault Diddy if that's not what he wants to see. You know, I don't feel like it was fat shaming. You know, people were like trying to drag him saying it was fat shaming, but I don't think it was fat shaming because at the end of the day, it was it was daylight, it was Easter. Um, I don't know when Drea came on. Uh, did she come on later? I don't know because I wasn't watching it, but apparently Drea came on right after that and she was twerking. Now, as far as Tory Lanez is concerned, if you have ever watched Tory Lanez, because he got actually booted off of Instagram. Or too much showing too much. Uh, this mm -hmm. girl was like a deep throat and a gummy bear worm or something, and they thought it was a little too explicit for the kids. But you know, because it's Instagram, they can't really monitor, you know, over 18 watching him or not. You know what I'm saying? So um, you know, he often has twerkers on there. Like, how can he even monitor if the girls are over 18? You know what I'm saying? Because girls be calling in, twerking. You got butt cheeks everywhere. You got people pouring milk on their ass. All mm -hmm. of this for some cash apps. Because he, he used to put their cash apps up. And, you know, all the men, Wiz Khalifa, everybody will be in there. Like, giving them cash app donations for them twerking and doing some outrageous shit. Like, stripper shit. You know what I'm saying? Even though they're not nude, you can still see their ass. <laughs> you know? So, um, it's, 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 it's interesting. I mean, you know, it is a, a form of entertainment. They are all inside. Uh, he has, like, upwards of, like, 300,000 people on his live at a time. So uh, he did get his, uh, somebody said Team Lizzo. Okay. Um, he did get his Instagram back and they started it back up again. Somebody said he's ignorant. A lot of people don't like him and a lot of people do like him. It's like a catch 22. But my thing is all the people that don't like him still be on there looking. <laughs> like, so they still see it. So he's still winning. Um, what I find interesting about Tory Lanez, though, is that, and this is me from a business perspective, because I've watched them and I've seen the girls who call in and I've seen the girls who get naked or almost naked and twerk and all of that. He doesn't shame anyone. Like there have been girls on there that look damn stupid. You know what I mean? Like they bodies, what you know, whatever. Um, he always says they look great. Like it's, it's, he always gives them some positive motivation. It's always like somebody just said, it's always fun. So I've never heard him actually shame anyone. Um, the girls call in on their own, but again, you know, we don't know if they of age, over age, whatever, but at the end of the day, I don't think he bears any responsibility. I don't know. It's, it's just an interesting dynamic. It is quarantine radio. Somebody said, it's like watching a train wreck. You can't look away. <laughs> um, but it's like you gotta watch it, Carl. You gotta go over there and subscribe and like get notifications because when you get it, it's like you be looking and then like the little sound effects he be doing the whole quarantine, hey. quarantine, quarantine. That and then sound he's like, game is off the chain, huh? Yeah, and he be like, What time is it? And then he got the little Mexican man, it's corona time. <laughs> and then they be like <laughs> dancing and stuff. And I remember all that from like Cancun, you know what I'm saying? They used to have all that stuff when you know you outside uh beach parties and stuff like that. So he got Got those same little sound effects and stuff so it's i mean it's cute but don't nobody want to see all them ass cheeks and stuff you know man we're not gonna say don't nobody exactly i mean i get it that's what i'm saying there's a there's a market for everything but you got to understand with instagram they can't monitor like even with even with youtube youtube monitors um if it's child friendly or not and they are block it and they will like if you over 18 you can't if you're under 18 you can't watch certain videos on youtube sometimes you know mm -hmm. i don't think they're too great with it but they try but well, like instagram they don't have that you know they don't have you know any kind of even verification for you to say yes or no you over 18 under 18 to go into certain lives and then you end up seeing like little boosy you know women eating each other out <laughs> you know what i'm saying so you know and everybody is at home um you know everybody is exposed to everything it's it's, it's interesting yeah to say the least mm -hmm. Um, I would love to invite some of you in. It is open topic. We've been on for an hour. How long be on? Probably another hour. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. Invite some invite some of your peeps in. Um, so I just that? put the I just put the link in the chat. Hey. So anyone who's watching 
is welcome to join in. Join. So, Carl, um, are you gonna go, <laughs> are you gonna play us some music? What you gonna do? You just go sit there. Sure, with you you gonna sit there with your little headphones on? Which <laughs> it's like a doctor <laughs> sitting so, there so with the like a stethoscope on. The headphones is to, to cover up the Corona hairstyle, right? Child. Okay. Look at my Corona hairstyle. Yeah. That's, that's, I tried uh, to do that's, my that's three weeks of no haircut. Mm. Welcome to the quarantine. Who knows this? I don't know that. What song is that? We don't need all that. ATL classic. Who knows that? Shoddy Black ATL said they don't even know that one. What? Oh my goodness. Wait a minute, Miss Winnie. Let me answer her question. Someone said, "Does uh?" She said, "Does YouTube hold your cash?" I've read they aren't fair to content creators. I feel like YouTube is very fair because first of all, we're using their platform for free. It costs nothing to get a YouTube account. You know, only thing it costs is hard work and determination and dedication and building your platform. That being said, when people give super chats, they take uh thirty percent of it. I don't mind it because at the end of the day, I'm using their platform. So a lot of people would prefer to give cash apps or prefer to give PayPal and all of that. But at the end of the day, it's all you know. We got to report all income because hell, when I was audited at the IRS, they was looking at my PayPal's and everything else. So they want to see you know any kind of way because they follow the money either way it goes. So if I get it through YouTube, it doesn't it doesn't phase me one way or the other because I feel like YouTube deserves. Um, you know the percentage that they take because they keep this this platform up and running for all of us the creators and the viewers so definitely you know even though they are they are a billion dollar company they deserve to um you know profit just like anybody else and that's me as a business person i don't mind it um but i appreciate all of you who give any way you give i appreciate my patreon people hell patreon takes a cut everybody takes a cut you got you gotta know whatever platform you own is gonna take a cut period 